Over the past year, there have been so many new innovations when it comes to gear for YouTube videos. So today I want to cover the best cameras, lenses, lighting, audio, and software that you should keep your eye out for this holiday season. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back to the channel. As mentioned before, today we're talking all about Black Friday and holiday shopping deals. Let's start with cameras. Currently, my go-to camera recommendation is the Sony ZV-E10. This camera comes in at $700 and is packed with some incredible features. It captures video in 4K resolution, it has a flip out screen, unlimited record time, incredible autofocus, interchangeable lenses, slow motion, customizable buttons and menus, and is ready to live stream right out of the box. This is a fantastic camera for the price and I'd definitely be on the lookout for deals this season. Another incredible camera option is the little brother to the ZV-E10, the Sony ZV-1. This camera design is very similar except it does not offer interchangeable lenses. However, I think this camera could be better if you're into just doing vlogs or if you need something super portable and don't want to have to deal with the extra fuss or expense of having lenses. And lastly, if you are looking to move into the realm of full frame, I would highly recommend the Sony a7C. I recently purchased this camera and it has become my main go-to option for YouTube videos and vlogging. It's incredible, and it's also one of the world's smallest full-frame cameras. It has basically the same features of the ZV-E10 that I listed earlier, except this camera is full-frame, which will give you a bigger sensor, let in more light, give you more depth, and it has IBIS, which physically stabilizes the sensor. Plus, this camera is a little bit older, which means it's more likely to get marked down during this season. Now let's talk about lenses. The lenses that I'm about to recommend are based off of my camera recommendations. For the ZV-E10, my best lens recommendation would be the Sigma 16mm 1.4. This lens is awesome, especially if you're doing talking headshots like this for your YouTube videos. It will give you that awesome blurred out look. It's incredibly sharp. With 1.4, it will let in a ton of light, which will help you get more out of your lights. And all in all, it's just a great option. Next up for the ZV-1, I would recommend getting this wide angle adapter from Ulanzi. By itself, the ZV-1 is just a little too zoomed in for vlogs in my opinion, but adding in this awesome little lens adapter will make your frame wider, you can hold it a little closer, and it will just make the whole shooting experience a lot better. And lastly, if you're going the full frame route, I would recommend my personal favorite lens, the Sony 20mm 1.8. This lens is phenomenal. It's super sharp, relatively lightweight, it lets in a ton of light, gives you a ton of depth, and even has this nice declickable aperture ring. The minimum focus distance on this lens is insane, it's almost macro-like. It's really versatile, and over the past year it has been my most used lens by far. All right, now when it comes to software, I wanna to talk to you about today's sponsor, Motion VFX. They are an incredible website where you can get tons of video plugins, including titles, effects, transitions, and more. They even have plugins specifically for YouTubers. It's pretty much where I get all of my effects for YouTube videos and client work. I have been using their plugins for over five years and I'm super excited to partner with them on their Black Friday sale. Right now, you can save anywhere from 30 to 50% off on their products. Check it out at the link in the description below. Now let's talk about lighting. First up is this awesome kit from Mount Dog, and it's one of the best value lighting options for YouTube videos. This light is soft, it's dimmable, it's color temperature adjustable, it's remote control operated, and it comes with the light, the softbox, a light stand, a remote control, and a carrying case, all for $50. 
I've seen this price drop even below that, so make sure you're watching throughout the season. Next up, let's talk RGB. Personally, I'd be on the lookout for this awesome G2 Pocket RGB light. This light comes in at around $70, and it's super small, super bright, dimmable, color temp adjustable, full RGB, is rechargeable via USB-C, and can be powered while plugged in, and it comes with this awesome tripod mount. If you're in the market for an RGB light, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. And lastly, when it comes to lights, I would definitely be checking out some of the options from GVM. If you have the space for it and you need a brighter output, I would definitely recommend checking out the GVM 100W. And if you need just stronger RGB lights, then I would check out the 50RS kit. Both are incredible options. And let's not forget about audio. When it comes to shotgun mics, Deity has some of the best options available. The new D4 Mini microphone is super great and it's only $50 brand new. So this is already a deal, but you may even be able to find a better option throughout the Black Friday, Cyber Monday season. But if you're somebody who is doing a lot of vlogging content, then I would recommend checking out the Duo option. This microphone has both a front and rear capsule and can record both at the same time. This is super handy if you're doing vlogs because you don't have to worry about turning the microphone around if you're trying to show something while talking. The microphone will just record both ways. When it comes to lapel mics, I would definitely recommend looking at the Rode Wireless Go or maybe something like the Tascam DR10L. Personally, I lean towards the Tascam option because I'm not a huge fan of wireless. I've just had some issues in the past with interference and the Tascam is great because it's all built in micro SD card. You can just hook it up, it, the battery lasts really long and you don't have to worry about losing signal if you go too far away. It will just keep recording. When it comes to USB microphones, I would definitely try to check out the Blue Snowball mic. This is a classic one that will still hold up and give you good quality audio. The one that I've personally used for a long time is the Rode NT-USB. And while it is pretty good, it's a little bit more expensive. And nowadays, I actually think you can find some better options for a cheaper price. You could check out something like the Rode NT-USB Mini. Uh, these things are super cool. Or maybe even something like the new Shure microphones that are sort of like the SM7B, just smaller and in a USB format. I think any of those microphones will be a great addition for editing tutorials or live streams. And one of my personal favorite audio devices is the Zoom H6. It's actually what I'm using right now to record audio for this video. The Zoom H6 is sort of like the Swiss Army knife of audio devices. It kind of has its own built-in shotgun mic. You can plug in quarter inch or XLR to it. You can use it as an audio interface. There's just a ton of different ways you can use it, and it has great vocal preamps and a ton of high quality options to give you really great sounding audio. All right, everybody, that's going to about wrap up this video. I hope that you have enjoyed this and found some value from it. Before you guys leave, make sure to like this video subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, stay creative. Peace.